today's video is about a young woman named Sarah and her search for happiness. In a beautiful village, there lived a young woman named Sarah. She had always been known for her radiant smile and her unwavering belief in the pursuit of happiness. Sarah's childhood had been filled with the joy of simple pleasures, chasing butterflies in meadows, listening to the rustling leaves in the forest, and gazing at the stars with wonder in her eyes. Her parents, who were wise and kind, had instilled in her the importance of finding happiness in the everyday moments of life. As Sarah grew older, the world around her seemed to change. The village became busier, and the simple joys of her childhood became scarcer. People around her began to chase after wealth, success, and status, believing that these things held the key to happiness. Sarah, however, remained steadfast in her belief that happiness was not something to be found in external achievements, but rather something that resided within the heart. She decided to embark on a quest to discover the true source of happiness. Her journey took her far and wide, from busy cities to remote villages, from grand palaces to humble huts. Along the way, she met people from all walks of life, each with their own definition of happiness. In a bustling city, she encountered a successful businessman named Mr. Hartman. He lived in a luxurious penthouse, surrounded by material wealth. Yet, he seemed burdened by stress and worry, constantly striving for more. He confessed to Sarah that despite his riches, he felt a deep emptiness inside. In a quiet mountain village, she met an elderly woman named Grandma Mi. She had very little in terms of material possessions, but was known for her warm heart and her ability to make people laugh. Grandma May explained that her happiness came from the love and connections she had nurtured throughout her life. In a coastal town, Sarah met a talented musician named Leo. His music was celebrated far and wide, and he was adored by fans all over the world. Yet, Leo confided in Sarah that he often felt lonely and disconnected from his own music as it had become more about fame and fortune than the passion that had once driven him. As Sarah continued her journey, she came to realize that happiness was not a fixed destination, but a lifelong journey. It was not something to be pursued externally, but a state of being that could only be cultivated from within. One day, while wandering through a dense forest, Sarah stumbled upon an ancient tree with branches that reached toward the heavens. Beneath the tree, she saw a small cottage, and inside, an old man named Master Wu. He was a sage who had spent his life in solitude, seeking wisdom and inner peace. Sarah shared her quest with Master Wu, who smiled kindly and invited her to sit. They talked for hours about the nature of happiness. Master Wu explained that true happiness was not dependent on external circumstances, but on one's ability to find contentment and peace in the present moment. He told her, happiness is like a wellspring deep within us. It flows freely when we let go of attachments, when we embrace the beauty of each moment, and when we find gratitude for the simple things in life. Sarah felt a deep sense of clarity wash over her. She realized that her journey had not been in vain, for she had discovered the wisdom of the ages in the words of Master Wu. Happiness, she understood, was not an elusive treasure to be found, but a choice to be made each day. With a newfound purpose, Sarah returned to her village. She shared the lessons she had learned on her journey with her friends and neighbors. She encouraged them to seek happiness, not in the pursuit of external achievements, but in the practice of gratitude, kindness, and mindfulness. As time passed, the village transformed. People began to appreciate the beauty of the natural world around them, 
to savor the warmth of friendships, and to find joy in the simplest of gestures. The village once again became a place where happiness thrived. Sarah's radiant smile, which had never left her face, became a symbol of the happiness that could be found within, regardless of external circumstances. She had learned that happiness was not a destination, but a journey, and that the true treasure was the wisdom to choose happiness every day. And so, in the village that had once forgotten the simple joys of life, Sarah's quest for happiness had illuminated the way. She had shown them that happiness was not something to be pursued, but a state of being that could be found within the heart of each and every person. The golden rule of happiness is that the more you make others happy, the happier you will be. Contrary to what you might think, it's not career achievement, money, exercise, or a healthy diet. The most consistent finding we've learned through 85 years of study is that positive relationships keep us happier and healthier and help us live longer. Happiness is achieved when a person can perceive the true nature of reality, unmodified by the mental constructs we superimpose upon it. The basic source of all happiness is a sense of kindness and warm-heartedness towards others. We are all the same as human beings. We are born the same way, we die the same way, and we all want to lead happy lives. Happy people are also known to be more productive. They are less likely to skip work habitually, procrastinate, or shirk their responsibilities. Due to this, happy people are likely to receive more encouraging peer and supervisor evaluations hence further increasing their chances of success. Protecting your health and happiness lowers your risk for cardiovascular disease, lowers your blood pressure, enables better sleep, improves your diet, allows you to maintain normal body weight through regular exercise, and reduces stress. Self-pity is the very worst kind of emotion. It destroys everything around itself and leaves you feeling powerless. Stop being the victim. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and be happy. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, subscribe, and share it with others who may benefit from these insights. Together, let us embark on a journey of self-improvement and create a positive impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. Helping others is a gift of God. Thank you and have a great day.